This video is sponsored by Rayboot, a software for a PC or Mac that will fix a ton of different problems, from getting stuck on recovery mode to a black screen, getting stuck on Apple logo or a boot loop, and of course, a ton of other problems. Now, all you have to do is just connect your device, tap to repair, tap fix now, here just load the IPSW or tap here to download automatically and go ahead and fix. Now, if the standard mode doesn't fix your problems, you will have the deep repair which will fix your problems. Now, if you get stuck on recovery mode on your device or you need to enter recovery mode, that will be as simple as one click. Now, if you want to get the software, make sure to check out the description of the video. You will find there the links from where you can download it. Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we have a very exciting day. Apple just had their event where they announced some really cool new devices, the Watch Series 6, also a Watch SE, which will be a cheaper Apple Watch, which is really, really great, and also the iPad 8th generation and a new redesigned iPad Air. But they also announced that these devices will be available on Friday, this Friday, which means that iOS 14, iPadOS 14, and watchOS 7 will be coming very, very soon. Actually, they will come out, all of these will come out tomorrow, September 16th. And this has been confirmed by Apple as well. Tomorrow, September 16th, you will be able to install iOS 14, watchOS 7, and iPadOS 14. So in this video, I will show you guys everything that you need to know regarding iOS 14 before you install it on your device. Now, first of all, you need to know that iOS 14 will support all the same devices as iOS 13. So if you had an iPhone on iOS 13, you should know that you will be able to install also iOS 14 on that device. That's starting from the iPhone SE, the 6S, the 6S Plus, of course, those will be the oldest iPhones to support iOS 14 as they were on iOS 13 and up to the newest devices, of course, which also support of course, iOS 14. Now, the only difference between older devices, that's from the iPhone 7 and older, and the newer devices will be a feature called Back Tap. That feature has been added to iOS 14 and it is really great. So you go to settings, go to accessibility, go to touch, and right here at the bottom, you will find Back Tap. Now on Back Tap, you will have two different actions that you can perform. You have double tap and triple tap. So you're basically choosing here what action you want to perform using those gestures, and then you can basically double tap or triple tap on the back of your iPhone to perform that action. So in this case, if I want to take a screenshot, just go ahead, triple tap right there and I can go ahead and take a screenshot of my device as easy as that. So this won't be available on the older devices. Again, only the iPhones that have a glass back will have that feature. So if you have an iPhone SE 6S or an iPhone 7, you won't have that feature with iOS 14. Otherwise, iOS 14 is really great. Battery life is really, really good. Performance is really good as well. Now this year, Apple has focused a lot on performance with iOS 14 and ahead of it, basically ahead of its first beta being released we had seen news that apple is basically changing the whole process they're building ios 14 in order to make it more stable as ios 13 wasn't that stable at all so it is really great performance wise you need to know that ios 14 it is awesome doesn't have any like major bugs or glitches and all that stuff. It's really, really flawless. And iOS 14 has also pretty decent battery life. Of course, this will get better with new releases of iOS 14 as we see it update, but it will be really, really good in the future. And it's quite good right now as well. Other things that you need to know are basically the home screen widgets. These aren't in interactable, you cannot interact with them. You can basically tap on them and they will open the app to which it corresponds, but it won't allow you like to add information. They basically read only. They only show information. You won't be able to interact with them and add any information or do anything like that. Also, the new app library on iOS 14, you cannot customize this, you cannot rearrange the apps or basically change their folders or stuff like that. They just have this like set here and basically they're set like that automatically that will basically rearrange Apple rearranges these apps with every update. So there are changes here, but everything is done automatically. You don't have any power on this. You will have just basically to let Apple decide which apps to put where and how they organize these folders. You won't be able to customize these at all. 
Now, if you install iOS 14 on your device right now, just know that you won't be able to go ahead and downgrade back to iOS 13 if Apple stops signing it. So as long as iOS 13 is still signed for your device, you will be able to downgrade it. You will have two different methods. You can basically like go ahead and completely restore through iTunes and go back to iOS 13. And you can also do a method which will basically allow you to keep still all of your data but downgrade to iOS 13, but that's not really 100% sure that it will work. It might just lose your data or something like that. So it's a bit risky, but you will have to take that responsibility if you want to try out and do that go ahead and downgrade without having to lose your data. But you can maybe say, I want to do a backup here of iOS 14, then downgrade, restore to iOS 13, and then restore from the backup. You should know that if you go ahead and do a backup on a newer iOS version, then you won't be able to restore it on an older iOS version. Now there is a trick to modify the files and do that, but I don't recommend doing all that stuff, but just know that you have to downgrade as long as iOS 13 is still being signed if you just want to go back from iOS 14. Another thing we need to talk about is third party app widgets. Now I've done a video on this where I show some really cool third party app widgets, but they're still on beta versions. They probably will be released very, very soon for iOS 14 apps should have updates really soon coming out with these widgets that you will be able to add to your home screen. They're like third party apps that of course have some really, really cool widgets. Now they need to update their apps in order for you to have access to those widgets. The widgets that you had on iOS 13 won't work on the home screen of your iOS 14 device. So if you go ahead and go to the widgets panel, you have all like these different widgets that you had on iOS 13, they will be able to be added right here on the widgets panel, but you won't be able to add them to actually to the home screen of your device. They have to be redesigned and of course completely built for the home screen of your iOS 14 device. And last but not least, let's talk about whether you should install iOS 14 or not on your device. Now, if you have an iOS 13 device and it's running good, I suggest you go ahead and install iOS 14. This update is quite good. I didn't notice any like decrease in performance or stuff like that. Of course, this is a newer device here, the iPhone 11 Pro, but I tried it on the iPhone 7, on the iPhone SE. I will do also videos on those devices and show how it works on those devices. But in my experience, iOS 14 was really good, even though they have been older devices. So I didn't notice like any decrease in speed and stuff like that when updating from iOS 13 to iOS 14. So you should install iOS 14. Maybe you want to wait a few days to see if there's like any major bug that you don't want to update because of it. But it should be okay in my experience using this since day one since beta one it has been really really good so i suggest you go ahead and update your device to ios 14. so that's basically for this video guys ios 14 is coming out tomorrow really really exciting and great update bringing some really awesome features to ios which are actually game changing now i will be doing a ton of new videos on ios 14 and all of these new features new widgets and all that stuff so make sure you go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already so that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you on the next one